Paka Plus. Hello everybody, my name is Toby Chimp, it's lovely to have you here. The emphasis on the love right there because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. And in the spirit of Valentine's, I figured I'd give you some videos that are a little bit different this week. This is Paka Plus. And if you haven't gathered from the, that name, and the fact that there's an alpaca, an adorable alpaca I should say, on the main menu here, and the thumbnail, and probably the crazy title I've given this video, this is a visual novel slash dating sim where your girlfriend becomes an alpaca. Do, do I need to say anything else? That's all I know, I don't know how it happens, I don't know why it happens, that's all I know, but we're gonna get started here. Wish me luck. The music is fucking great by the way. I'm loving it. The melody of a violin from a distance. Harmonious sound, by the way. This uh, The translation on this, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be great. Oh my god! Look at the little dancing alpaca in the bottom right. It's amazing. It's amazing. Sun shining gently and soft wind blowing, blows <laughs> through the summer in the highland. I might have to double click here to get the text to go a bit faster. I'm still standing on the grass, moisted with the morning dew, closing my eyes in silent and straining my ears to catch the cool sound, closing my eyes in silent. <laughs> Next to me is my loved one. Oh. Holding hands and want to be here forever. Ah, I got my ears. Hey, isn't it summer vacation? Why is my alarm clock going off? I know, right? It's freaking loud. Kazuma, I guess that's us, by the way. I'll sleep again. This is definitely us. That's definitely me. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's how I try and get things sorted when my alarm goes off. Go back to sleep. Seiki Kazuma hold maliciously on the dream and the pillow. Get it into my head that I oversleep. Excellent. Oh, there comes the music. This is like the main theme song. Amazing. His sudden phone call kicks out my lazy thought. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, mushy mushy. Hello. Oh, Yukari. Hello. Oh, Yukari. <laughs> Are you sure awake? I, I am sure awake. Don't, worry, don't you worry. Yeah, I'm up. Well, I woke up now. What's up this early in the morning? <laughs> Us, apparently. <laughs> Man, I'm loving this already. <laughs> Today is the preparation of the school festival. Don't skip it. Uh, I was kind of planning on sleeping for the rest of the day, but I guess if I have to. What? Oh, sure, sure. Mm, are you alright? I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm a little bit sleepy, but I'm fine. Yes, I'll get ready in a moment. Still in the summer vacation, but today the school festival preparation begins. I become the executive committee member from my girlfriend Yukari's word. Let's do it with me. <laughs> Let's do it with me. Guys, come on. Let's all do it with me. I thought. <laughs> I'm waiting at the bus stop. Have your breakfast, right? Does that mean, is that an order to have my breakfast? Or that I've have I had my breakfast? Is it a question? Yeah, yeah, well... Yukari is like my mother. Why, why am I saying that to her? Well, she's not happy about it. Hey! No kidding. And prepare in a second. <laughs> you, got, you got one second to uh, to get dressed in and get to the, the bus stop or something. Alright, same time at the same place. Let's do it with me. After awakening by Yukari's phone call, I changed my clothes and got on my lovely car. Got on my lovely car. I mean... I mean my lovely bike, and left my home as soon as possible. I pedal my bike desperately to get to the school. <laughs> I'm going to add my own words in, just to try and make it make sense. Sometimes, at least. Yukari had got on the bus as usual, so I don't want her to wait. Phew. I arrived at the bus stop near the school, out of breath, and felt the sweat on my forehead. Steady my breathing, I was waiting the bus which Shikari should got on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In a minute, a, a geary, a geary with long hair got off the bus which came on time. I assume that means girl. <laughs> there she is. And she's even a human. Excellent. Good morning, Kasuma. Greets me brightly with the same smile. 
Her name is Izumi Yukari. My classmate in private, St. Kui High School, first A class, and she's my girlfriend too. That's a humble brag there. Shining tresses, a shoe button, and gentle eye, and too slight to hug that could break at once. What does this mean? What? What? I even know. Anyway, too lovely to be my girlfriend. Aw, isn't he sweet? That is Izumi Yukari. Good morning! Oh, you still look sleepy. Yeah, I, you woke me up, man. Absolutely. I wanted more sleep. See, I knew it. But I can't keep Yukari waiting alone. So I came here as, I came here as possible. But I don't need to appeal that. It's getting political right now. I changed my topic. By the way, Yukari, what do our class do in the school festival? <laughs> Hmm? You forgot everything. We gonna do a maid cafe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now I remember. She's so mad at me. Look at her face. I'm, I I'm still sleepy, man. I bet you didn't remember. No, I, I do remember. I think. She was right. <laughs> you were there when, when we decide what our class do. Yukari was half fed up, but kindly and carefully explained about our class amusement, Maid Cafe. The beginning was awesome. Wait, <laughs> even I'm getting it wrong now. The beginning was someone in the class remembered the trip to Tokyo in holiday, and the Maid Cafe was prosperous in Akihabara. I, I did I say that right? Akihabara? I don't know. Someone went to freaking Tokyo. Boys turned thumbs up, and the prosperer had cheering and clapping. But the problem was how to bring girls to terms. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get some, some lawyers involved to get these terms and conditions set straight. Surprisingly, the problem had got out of the way easily. Most part of the girls are claimed that I wanted to wear the maid costume, and in fact I have one of those. When the class leader, Shinozawa Ayaka, said I will take responsibility to prepare the costume that suits all the girls in the class. No one objected, and finally our class decided to locate the maid office. The maid, the maid office? The maid cafe, what am I talking about? This is, this is breaking my language abilities. That was the story. There you go. To choose cafe is less way to make money, but I'm satisfied if I could see Yukari wearing maid costume. Wow! Wow. What a scumbag. While talking, our school came into our view. It's up there in the clouds. Looking up to the sky and the sunlight getting strong. The merciless sun in summer beats down to us. Today's gonna be a hot day. Well, it is if she gets in the maid outfit. This is his words, not mine. Oh god. When we got into the class, the leader, Shinazawa, was waiting alone. Good morning, Shinazawa. You're early as usual. She, is she that the geeky, super intelligent person? Oh, I missed it. Good morning. Ayaka, good morning. You two are getting along well, as usual. She's my girlfriend, man. What do you want? I must be fighting. The leader who brought off the boys' hope to locate Maid Cafe easily is suspected to be strict and straight arrow. <laughs> but I know that she is hardcore queen for costume. She, look at her. That is the face of someone who is hardcore queen for costume. I heard from Yakari that Shinazawa is awfully fond of cute costumes. The collection of costumes are not just other high schools. Family restaurants, maid cafes, but also the real one that maid wears an English noble family. It's true. My maid actually is downstairs right now wearing uh, her costume. It's also a uniform, not a costume, really. I also heard that she has a costume room, but Yukari doesn't know the truth. You sit together too much that the classroom's temperature is going up. Yeah, we're, we're pretty we're pretty hot. It is quite hot outside as well, though. Let's try and put the AC on. Oh, how do you think, Kazuma? How do, what? Yukari is trying to get help from me, but Yukari, I'm not always by your side. Wow, this guy. I don't want to be this guy. Hey, temperature goes more up from the heat. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have said that in front of her, but hey. Temperature goes more up from the heat that Yukari embarrassed. Wow. You got behind my back, Kazuya. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have any choice in this so far. I don't even know if I get any choice in this game. Another leader of the class arrived late. 
Oops, we branched off. Picking on Yukari is after, that's true. Okay, agree to a ceasefire. Let's do it after the meeting. Oh God, poor girl. She's going to sit there while I have this meeting, knowing that afterwards she's just going to rip into her again. <laughs> what? Is this continuing? You don't have to. I'm sorry. Ayaka says so. All right, let's start our first meeting. Yes, things are starting to heat up. She's getting embarrassed. Oh, look where we go. Ah! Oh! She's got a fucking earthquake going on. Hey, listen to me. Oh. Listening to Yukari's approach, the meeting has started. Wow. This gets better and better. <laughs> well, this is all for today. That was, a, that was a quick meeting. I guess it wasn't important what happened there. It's fine. Today was the first meeting, but Shinazawa designed the plan in great detail, so it finished easily. Oh, good job. You run the show like a military advisor. I call you Zhugliang. Zhuglang. <laughs> I don't... Is that, is that a name I'm supposed to recognise? I apologise if I'm being ignorant here. Hmm? Stirring up people is my role. No need to think about profit on sales too. I don't want you to be my enemy. Thanks. <laughs> you don't have to bring me up. <laughs> oh god. I didn't praise it, but she was happy that things gone well. I was happy that things gone well as well. After the instant meet meeting, after the instant meeting at school, we left Shinazawa and went out for a ramble, as you do. Let's go for a quick ramble. We'll go around the station to see the shop to bookstore that we can avoid strong sunlight. Yeah, I told you it's pretty, it's pretty hot outside. We go through the game center and go into the fast food restaurant. There she is. I'll buy you a nice drink or something. I drink Coke in air conditioned room. Ah, I can taste it right now. Feels good. Yukari is weak in carbonated drink. What does this mean? Yukari is weak in carbonated drink. So she is drinking iced tea for a straw courtly. Yeah, there you go. I guess she's not fond of uh, sodas and whatnot. A few minutes from dusk to dawn in hot summer. <laughs> she's smiling again though, she's happy. I'm looking forward to school festival. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, I can't wait to see Yukari wearing a maid costume. Did he just say that out loud to her? Oh, she's not happy. She is not happy. No. <laughs> However, why did you why did you okayed to wear the maid costume? Don't you make resistance? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't take it. Girls want to change, is that what it said? Really? You want to be someone else? Well not sure. I don't know about the complex feeling of girls, but Yukari is saying what, what is she saying? Oh no, it's time! I have to go home! Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I'll walk with you, I guess. Yukari watches the clock. What does it do? Oh yes! Time goes by just talking and joking. And drinking carbonated drinks. Not doing something or going anywhere, but it was a happy time with her. <laughs> there you go. It was a happy time with her. We had a good time in this restaurant, don't worry about it. Just ordinary and small way that satisfies my school life. Ah, what more can you ask for? I mean, it's been a pretty good day overall. And then watch your step going home. He's not even going to walk her home. This is why this girl turns into an alpaca. I mean, she didn't deserve it. Seems like a nice girl, but this guy deserves everything that comes to him. And if that means his girlfriend that he humble brags about has to turn into an alpaca, so be it. Yes, you too, Kazuma. Watch out for the cars. I have not seen one car yet, but I will make sure to do that. I know. See you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> After I send Yukari to the bus stop, I pedal my bike to home. Looking up to the, looking up the reddening sky, there was a white cloud floating. To me, it looked like a sheep or a camel. A sheep or a camel. They're pretty similar, you know. Speaking of similar animals, I will end up saying llama a lot, I imagine. When I mean alpaca, I'm just saying it now because it can trigger people. They look similar, okay? I'm not being racist, but a llama and alpaca look similar. And the first word that popped into my head will be llama. So just, just brace yourself. Oh God, it's this guy. Kazuma, table three, check please. All right, I guess I work at a restaurant. Roger. If you done, take a break. Oh, I am done. I'm gonna take a break. The coffee shop. Oh, I'm in a coffee shop. The coffee shop stands quietly in residential area, a bit far from the station. It was called Black Cat. 
I like it. I like it. I'm helping this shop before I entered the school. I was treated like a family so that when the master looks busy, I was helping him for some reason not as part-time job. Alright. When I had trouble finding where to play, I came to this black cat since childhood. As you do, that's what I did when I was a kid, when I was bored, you know. Friends perhaps went home, I wanted to go play football, just wander around and go to like a coffee shop. <laughs> As you do. So now I feel connected with the master, that my real father, wow, you haven't played with me so much. Oh man, that's sad. That's a sad note. Master Mitaka Akio runs the shop with his two daughters, but sometimes needs my help too. I should hope so, since you're working there. Thank you very much, then... That was the last customer, and only we were left in the shop. I wonder why I feel this space large, even if even it is a small coffee shop. Hey, so you're going to do a maid cafe in the school festival? Yeah, man. Words travels quick. I found myself talking with the master since we had nothing to do. Yes, before I knew it, I'm busy getting prepared to the festival. The leading player of the festival is student. Do a good job. <laughs> I'm not the leading player, but I I will do a good job, I'll try. I'm just in it to see the freaking girls in the maid costumes, apparently. Again, not my words. Don't add a pressure. <laughs> hey, relax. I'll always be there for you since it's the same cafe. Alright, alright, calm down. Really? I have a sudden image of a girl being happy from the word. What? I don't know what that means. I image Shinazawa saying, I accept your kind offer, with a chuckle. <laughs> oh, that, well, there's my chuckle, I guess. For instance, how much and how long do we need to make a cafe we serve in the maid cafe? They, oh my god, I can't read anymore, it's just breaking my brain. For instance, how much and how long do we need to make a cake we serve in the maid cafe? Well, maybe not the time, but the equipment we have is the problem. Can you use the kitchen? No, the kitchen is reserved for the cooking club. We need to make it in the classroom. Now that's going to be an issue. Then you have to buy an oven. You're going to stick a freaking oven in the classroom? Is that what we're going to do? Where should we get that? We don't have that money. That's also a big problem. Mm. The master folds his arms. Is he going to fold them? He didn't. He didn't fold his arms. I have a plan. How about serving our cake in the festival? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. What? What? Are you sure? I was amazed at his unexpected plan. I mean, it's not that expected, right? In fact, this coffee shop, Black Cat, is famous for their delicious cake set. Excellent, it's perfect. It was introduced on the magazine too, on the magazine, you know, the, the magazine. The customers must be happy to have this cake in the maid cafe. Instead, I want you to put our black cat name cards next to the cash register. Alright. A little bit of cross promotion, I like it. Of course, yes, but the cake should be much volume. The cake should be much volume. Is it okay? For you, Kazuma, I'll do something. <laughs> Uh, you expect it to be like, for you, Kazuma, I'll do anything. No, for you, Kazuma, uh, I'll do something. That's fine. It's, something's better than nothing, right? Thank you. Can I discuss it in more detail next time? Uh. Got it. I'll tell this to Shinazawa later. Oh, jeez. I don't want to bring trouble to the master so much, but Shinazawa will do good. She will, man. And one more. I had to make sure. Master, I was wondering if I could take a day off at the end of this month. I work three days a week on Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, but I can switch easily on the ground of my and my master's schedule. August 31st is Yukari's birthday, oh I can't miss that, come on master, be a good guy. I want to be with her, than to work part time job. No problem, what do you have, uh, birthday, it's Yukari's birthday, I wanted to take her somewhere, oh god, where are we going to go, alright, have fun, oh good job master. Thank you. Thanks, I've got to talk about that to you. What? I'm planning to give a birthday present. Oh, here we go. Yes. What kind of thing will make her... Oh, so you haven't actually got anything in mind at the minute. You want some, some advice here from Master. Well then, what kind of thing makes you happy when Yukari gives you? What? 
Shouldn't it be like, what kind of thing makes her happy when I give to her? I asked, but I was asked a question in return. Me? Mm, I don't want anything special. I will be happy to anything that Yukari selects. I will be happy to anything that Yukari selects. Yes, that's the answer. Important thing is my heart. I knew it. I bet so. She likes music, so I'll find some accessories associated with the violin. I don't know how you got to that conclusion so quickly, but that's fine. Master smiled and went into the counter. Maybe he's gone to check the coffee roast thing. Maybe. Ah! God, speaking of the devil. Maybe he's gone to check the coffee roast thing. I just read that. Kazuma. Oh, that's me. Hello! Oh, Yukari. Oh, she looks angry. What's up? Is that the behavior to the customer? What are you talking about? Y yes, yes. Is this seat fits you, my dear lady? Is this seat fits you? I attend her to the seat next to the window. Yes, thank you. <laughs> what would you like? You should try the cake, it's really good apparently. Well, maybe it's late, but I'll have lunch. Do you have the lunch menu? Set A is carbonara and set B is rice omelette, both with a side and drink for service. Now, I know you like your iced tea, so don't worry about it. Set B, please! Alright, calm down. I knew you would select that. You really like rice omelette, or whatever it said. I forgot what it said, rice omelette. Because this shop's soft melting rice omelette is so delicious. It was very discerning of you to choose it. Wait a moment, please. Master, set B, please. Oh, look at him go. Straight into action. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Oh. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Can you make it instead, Kazuma? Oh, man, I've got to do everything around here. Fine. Yes, sir. I got this, Kazuma. I mean... What's the name again? I forgot. <laughs> Yukari, I got this, don't worry. So you make it for me today? Yeah, I guess so. I kind of have to. You can count on it, m'lady. Yes? <laughs> I went to the kitchen wearing my apron. I'm ready to go end this episode soon, but it just... It never stops. It never stops. I sometimes cook instead of... Instead, when Master is busy watching roasting. Busy watching roasting. That's a busy man right there. Fucking Master. He ain't the Master of anything. It's my field to make soft melting rice. It's my field to make soft melting rice omelette. Omelette is lost in another E there. Since I practiced many times. Jesus Christ, I'm losing my voice. How is it? Putting the omelette on the chicken rice and cutting the omelette in half, add the sauce and finished. But today, I wanted to act up something. Oh, here we go. Make it special. Don't send me to the sound. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Dude, what did you do to the salad? There's no need. My little mischief. Ah, oh, jeez. Is that what you're calling it? Gross. My, yeah, my little mischief. There. This is my soft melting rice. Oh, my God. It's just sounding worse and worse. Yukari. You don't want this, trust me. Looks great, apparently, though. She brought a spoon with omelette to her mouth. Oh, God. I hope you enjoy it. Delicious, apparently. Why do girls look so happy when they're eating? <laughs> Dude, everyone looks happy when they're eating as long as it's something good. You got that special sauce, whatever you got in there? I got happy reflectively. But when she ate the green salad, oh no. She spread her eyes and stopped. Oh, she's not happy. Look at her. She does not like the special sauce. The little mischief. She, fond she found it quickly. Uh, I can't pronounce that, I'm afraid. She got the salad down her throat and stared at me with tears in her eyes. Oh, God. She's she's mad. It was too forward, wasn't it? God, you put okra in the salad on purpose. I don't know what that is. I had to Google it. Put a picture up, me. Put a picture up. I guess I did. Yeah, I did. There were no okra in the salad, but for service, okra is good for beauty. Uh, how is she going to take that, though? Not good. Not good. Come on. You are devil. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Why you have to be mid? You ruin your pretty face. Oh, God. Dude, you're digging a hole here. Okay, I don't care you anymore. See, now look what you've done. Now she doesn't even care us. Jesus Christ. Yukari balloons her cheeks but continues eating rice omelette. Ugh. Women, am I right? You still enjoy eating rice omelette. Because it is good. No fault for the rice omelette. <laughs> Smiling at her. And I was wondering what to give her on the birthday. Maybe not that okra, whatever it's called. Didn't seem too fond of that. I know the heart is important, but I want her to be happy. 
I will check Yukari what she wants. You gotta be subtle here though. I'm not sure this guy knows what subtle means. Jesus Christ, there's never day down. And I think that's a good place to, to end off this episode here. It's 7.40, and it's actually 3 minutes past 8pm in my time right now. But I'm going to end off here, guys, because otherwise I will play for this whole game in one sitting, and you guys don't want that. But uh, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I have so far. I've not really got to the uh, the alpaca stuff yet, or anything sort of slightly romantic. This guy seems like a bit of a dick, you know, honestly. He seems a bit clueless in my mind. But hopefully it's amusing to you. The broken English definitely helps, I think. And yeah, there's more of that to come. So guys, if you want, feel free to check out some other videos of mine. Maybe one of these two. Or if you want, click the button in the middle to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.